YouTube and welcome to lesson five of the Autodesk Maya tutorial series. Today we're going to uh, look at how to model a hammer inside of Autodesk Maya, which is actually a very good exercise uh, if you're starting out with hard surface modeling. So hammer is where uh, you have the uh, front portion as circular and end portion as um, rectangular and so forth. So you have multiple shapes in the same uh, trick. So that is very uh, interesting to work out on. So we're going to use the as loop and extrude technique as always to actually model a hammer. So let's start that out. So I'm going to drag my cubic shape just like that. Press F just uh, there and then grab this out over here. Just grab this out. Okay, so this is going to be the middle portion of the hammer right here. All right, then what I want to do is I want to extrude this out. All right, extrude this out and then uh, create the uh, hammer, the front portion of the hammer just like that. So I'm going to uh, extrude this out. So extrude this out. Let's scale this down just like this. Scale this down and then extrude this again. So extrude this again. Drag this to the front. Uh, extrude this again. So let's go for uh, extrude again and then scale this up just like that. Pull this out a bit to the uh, left. All right. Okay, just like that. Then again, I'm going to extrude this, drag this to the front. All right, there you go. That's the hammer that we have right here. All right, so if I were to press smooth, you can actually see the hammer shape is actually taking place. So I want to add in more details to it by using S loop. So now what I want to do is I want to add in S loop to this. So I'm going to hold shift right click, insert S loop, insert the S loop over here, and insert the S loop over here. So in the hammer, what we actually have is we have vertices, all right? We have it a bit of a circular shape, just like that. So let's go for vertices right here. Grab the vertices over here. Grab the vertices over here at the end as well. Or let me just go for edge because that is going to be much more easier. Grab the edge, four edges just like that, and give it a circular shape. I just want to give it a circular shape by using this tool right here. So let's drag this to give it a circular shape. There you go. And then it's actually crooked in the side. I don't want uh, the, it crooked on the side. So select the sides just like this on the bottom at the side as well. Please select this just like that. And then over here to the side, let's zoom in out and then drag this out just like this. Okay, there you go. So if I were to press three, then that's how it actually seems. So that's quite nice as you can see over here. So press three, there you go. All right, so <clears throat> now over here, I wanna make room for the, uh, let's say the edge over here. So I wanna go for uh, an S loop. Okay, let's go to face just like this. Let's drag this down, okay, to create uh, this kind of a shape just like that. And then I want to grab this out. So I want to extrude this out a bit. So let's extrude this out. So I actually want this uh, faces to be separate. I, these are actually together right now. So I want uh, these faces to be separate once I extrude this out because I want the hammer nail areas to actually pop up. So what I want to do is I want to go into uh, my mess. Uh, so I have my option called keep faces together here somewhere. So on over here, onto my modeling. Yes, I'm on my modeling. So uh, here, I wanna search for key faces together. So if I don't find any option, I just go to help. And in the find menu, I'm gonna have keep faces together. Okay, so let's just search that. And it must appear right here. So it's not appearing, key faces. No matches found, key faces. Okay, so let's just drag this out, keep, Okay, so uh, keep faces together is not over here for some reason. Uh, maybe they removed out in the old version anyways. So I'm going to extrude this individually then. So let's just extrude this out. All right, so let's just extrude this out. And then let's extrude this one out as well. So these are individual faces. So what I can do is I can actually uh, scale this down just like this. Okay, let's see the smooth out version of this. All right, so looking good so far. And then I'm going to extrude both of these now. So let's just extrude both of these, drag this down just like that. And I want to make sure that I actually uh, grab the vertices just like this and rotate this around. So rotate this around just like this and then drag this to the bottom just like that. All right. So I'm going to give it a crooked like shape. 
All right, so let's grab the faces. Let's uh, scale this down just like that and scale this down just like that as well. And then make sure that the scale down is actually together. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna grab this to the side just like this and grab this to the side. Okay, there you go. I don't want it to be too apart. Press three and there you go. I got the shape that I want, all right? So then what I want to do is I'm gonna go to the object here and then I'm gonna add in some insert as loop over here and here, then then I'm gonna grab my uh, uh, edge, my edge, all right? So grab, not my edge, my vertices, select my vertices right here up at the center and move this to the top, just like that. This to create a curve-like shape. All right, there you go. So I got the end of the hammer as well. And as you can see, I'm basically done with the basic shape, all right? And the bottom part of the hammer, I want to work with that uh, that one out as well. So I want to insert an S loop uh, over here, an S loop uh, over here. All right. So grab the faces. Uh, I want to extrude this out. So extrude, and then scale this down a bit, just like this, and then uh, scale this out, just like this, and then scale this down. So extrude this out, drag this down, just like that. All right. There you go. So drag this down. Just like this, and I got the bo bottom portion of the hammer. At the bottom portion, I actually want to use the wood. So uh, I'm going to use a different shape for that. So no problem regarding that. Just press 3. And there you go. That's how it happens. So now, over here in this section, what I want to do is, this is actually crooked, so I want to grab the vertices right here. Let's press the edge. So select the edge and then grab it out just like this. All right. So I want to use my S loop tool to actually give the <coughs> uh, finished look like, just like this. So insert the S loop tool. So once I'm in smooth mode and when I choose S loop mode, you can see that I can see the wireframe uh, of my non-smooth mode, so which is always helpful. So I'm going to add it, add an S loop over here. So you can see that as I as in, add in the S loop, I start getting the hard surfaces just like that. So add an S loop over here again. So it's more hard like a real ham hammer. This is a hard surface modeling. Maybe I want this to remain uh, uh, like that. All right. So grab one hard surface hammer just like that. Hard surface hammer just like that over here in the section as well. And then over here in this section as well. All right, just like that. All right, over here in this section. No, I don't want it over there. Anyways, I got my shape right there. And over here in this section, maybe, right? Okay, so it's too uh, pointy out there. Control Z over here in the section. All right, there you go. Over here in the section as well, I want it to be smooth. So uh, over here to as loops so that it's more straight. All right, there you go. So. I am starting to get a very hammer-like look. Okay, oops. Here, over here in this section, I need two more as loops so that it's straight. All right, there you go. So now it actually looks like a hammer, and this is how you actually design a hammer in Maya, as you can see this. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that my hammer is shiny, and I want my base over there at the section. So just press F. Let's just drag this to the top just like that. Press F. All right. And then add in a shiny material. So add, assign new material right over there. Go to blend. All right, there you go. There's the hammer, just like that. All right, so there, there's the shiny material that I wanted. Go to the top, and then I want to make the base for it. So let's go for the base for it. All right, just like that. Just press F over here, and then make the base for it, just like that. So the base size is yay big, just like that. Just drag this to the top, and there you go. That's my base of the hammer. So that's a different shape. So usually it is. So uh, even in reality, if you have a different shape, then different shapes are to be used. All right. So insert S loop over here at the top to give it a circular look. And over here at the bottom to give it a circular look as well. Press 3. And there you go. That's how the hammer is actually designed. All right. So that's how that's done with my hammer. I want to use the wood texture here. Assign new material. And here, maybe I have something like a wood. So let's go for blend over here as well. And in the color section, uh, okay, in the color section, I don't really have to choose anything here, but let's just choose a darker color anyways. So in order to choose the color over here, just press on the shape that you want to add the color on. Go to the end and you might actually fill something called a blend because I added in a blend over there. So there's blend two. And there, I want the color to be a bit darker than it actually was. All right, so it looks like a real hammer over there. 
Let's go, let's go on to the base as well. And then on the base, instead of choosing the color, I actually want to choose the texture. And I want to make sure that I choose the wood texture over here. So where's my wood? There's my wood texture. And there you go, I got get my wood texture. So the wood texture is actually looking odd quite a bit right here. So for that, I'm going to go to UV and say automatic for a while. All right, UV, cylinder, uh, cylindrical UV. All right, so we're going to go for UV section later on, but this is how you actually can UV and it is not actually quite looking good right now, right about now. All right, so let's just forget this part out. So let's go, let's go for automatic part, uh, which is not looking great for some reason. All right, this shouldn't have happened. Anyways, so this is how you add, let's just use a flat color for now anyways. So later on, we are going to go for uh, UV texturing as well. So go, let's go for blend and choose a wood-like color, just like this. Uh, let's go for a brownish color, just like this. And there you go, that's my hammer. And as always, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna delete this, I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna go to mess and combine, and there you go, there's my hammer. So if I were to duplicate this, I got my hammer, I got my multiple modes of hammer, just like that. So I can uh, place it out, just like this. Uh, let's just uh, rotate this out. Just like that, put it at the bottom. And this one as well, rotate this out. Uh, rotate this out a bit, just like this, and put it at the bottom, just like this. Just track this down at the bottom and at the side over here. Okay, there you go, so there you go, that's my two hammer. Let's just make it seem more realistic, just like that. Drag this down, all right, there you go. So the hammer is resting on another hammer. So that's how you create Hammer on Autodesk Maya, folks. So that's how you can practice your hard surface modeling, which is a great practice. So try modeling a hammer and you get to uh, practice as loops even more further. So anyways, as always, hope you guys learned something. Uh, so, uh, guys learned something. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.